everyone and welcome back as always. I'm finally playing more Detroit Become Human. Awesome, awesome game. I know there are a lot of different storylines that you can take. <laughs> and I'm just going to continue with the one that I've already done so far. I know I didn't make a lot of good choices, but that's the whole fun of the game. Like you don't always know under pressure. And I loved Marcus and I was so upset that I killed him off. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't look up spoilers but something happened on my youtube where a thumbnail came up of marcus and it looked like he was with a bunch of other characters so i don't know if he's going to come back or if i have to play a different storyline to have him survive i don't know i did kill connor twice already so i don't know if that's a record or not but we will see i hope he comes back too because he's a cool character and let's go from there and I, i'm kind of worried about kara and alice of course CyberLife, the company that manufactured me, is conducting a user survey. Would you like to participate? Hmm. Sure. Great. Let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? Um, I hope no one gets offended. I don't know. I think it's a little bit weird. Like a relationship as in a friendship, sure, but not like physical. I don't know, it's weird. Do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? Yeah, I do. Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Yeah, yeah. YouTube. <laughs> I do. Would you let an android take care of your children? No. If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? Yeah. Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? I don't know. This survey is kind of interesting. I haven't seen you for a while. It's good to have you back. Thanks. It's good to be back. Oh. Good way to start. <gasps> it's Marcus! Oh, I'm so happy you're so okay. Kind of, sort of. Marcus, oh, I feel so bad. I really like you. Oh. Sorry. Oh wow, I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna repair myself. Music too. Puts you right in the moment. At least it was easy to repair. <laughs> Your poor guy. Oh my god. 
Alright, good. I'm so happy that was kind of sort of easy. Oh my god, like that? Even if you escape, how are you gonna, like, do anything? You don't even look normal. You don't look good. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. Oh. Oh, thank you. Was that that painting? That paint place? Oh my god. <gasps> oh, so creepy! Oh my god! It's almost like you're painting. Oh, ow! Ugh. Zombie game or something now, it seems like. Oh my god! It's like a horror game now. I would not want to work in this junkyard. This is horrible. It's like killing people. Are you going to attack me too? I'm going to come at you. Oh my god. It makes you really feel. I really feel for Marcus right now. Poor guy. Find you and I, hopefully. Are you gonna like repair skin or anything to look kind of normal when you go out, though? Survivor. Ugh. Luckily, he can still function with it out. Oh my god. Oh, can you see his like heart pumping inside? That's cool. That's really weird. Oh, he's crawling away. hear a lot of like screaming and groaning of droids. Oh my 
God, even the statue there of an angel. Wow. That's pretty cool. Surround sound now. No one's seen me do this? No, no, no. Oh, and I want to kill you. I feel bad. I don't know what to do. I gotta stop being compassionate because it's not always a good thing. Oh, good. Okay. Marcus. Climb the slope. Oh god, just reaching, he's still reaching. How are you gonna get out? I hope we can make it, but oops. The guys trying to reach out too. No, make it. Even the skin's fixed. Aww. Different color dyes. Just a surface thing. Wow. Well, they made that easy. Holy crap. Wow. No, he looks human. Like full human. Become human. coat now, just for you. This is such a good game. That was so emotional. From the dead. Wow. I'm so happy I said that in the intro now because 
I had no idea this was going to happen, and I almost wanted to replay my last story, my last episode, because I hated the fact that Marcus died, and I kept doing passive things and nice things instead of being aggressive towards the sun. So I thought that was a bad mistake, and that's why he died. Wow, that was crazy. Yay, Marcus is back. I'm so happy about that, but he said dad last episode. It was so... really pulls at the heartstrings. Connor's back too again. Yay! I won't try to kill you this time. I'm sorry. Oh my God. Find Amanda. Oh, look, it's like fluffy sand. It's so pretty. It's like pure white sand. Or is that just? I don't know. I'm not leaving any prints. Ooh, look! It looks so nice. I can stay here a while. What's this? Ooh. What did I learn? Is this like my birthplace? I'm back again. Cool, can I walk across that? Ooh. How fun is that? La, 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 la. I want to go in the boat. I know I might not be able to, but let's go over there anyways. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Man. Get excited. Yeah, it's not sand. <laughs> oh, I like this place. Tranquil. Beautiful. <gasps> Boo! Oh. <laughs> I'm laughing. I killed you. Sorry. Hopefully there's no more. Within a few months. A couple months of each other. Not even. Sorry. What a doves everywhere. Like heaven. <laughs> Hello. Can you help me? Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. It knew deviance could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, Connor model. its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It will be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. Hmm. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Wow. Hurry, Connor. 
There's little time. Ooh, he's stressing a little bit. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so Connor is a really well-known android, I guess. Not so easily killed off completely. Not that I want to kill you again. Hi. Uh, Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level, with a Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have clashed last night. Several warning shots were exchanged with an American boat in Central Countries in the region, particularly Sweden and Canada, have called for military forces to withdraw. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. It's still really Lieutenant weird. Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Cool. Oh shit. Hm. Fucking machine could've killed everyone in the room. Cool. Hello. Can I explore? Will I get in trouble? Cops here too, so why are you worried about me? Don't mind me guys, passing through. They were gonna blame Marcus. <sighs> Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If hmm. we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Okay. It's a little awkward there. <laughs> Hi, honey. Okay. <laughs> you didn't look like you belonged in that chair, anyways. Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect <laughs> me to call back. <laughs> Beep. Whatever. <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the office.
habits. Ugh. So many calories. Mm. I need the scanner just to stay in my diet. <laughs> Except for tea. Ooh. Yeah, red ice plays a big part in this game, huh? Wow. So what happened to him to make him an alcoholic like that? <sighs> St. Bernard! Big, beautiful dogs. Red Ice Task Force. That's a big deal. Mm. Yep. Yeah. You know, we should your book by its cover. There Hello, he is. Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God. I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor oh, was, was unfortunately destroyed. But Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. Wow. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hey! Wow. In my office! Uh-oh. You're late all the time. He's gonna not let me in. <laughs> Dance. I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. But I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Uh. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick! <laughs> Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off! You are a police lieutenant! You are supposed to do what I say, and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. Oh god, oh god. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, cause it already looks like a fucking novel! This conversation is over! Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Don't hand in your badge. Don't do it. Uh, awkward. <laughs> I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. <laughs> Have a nice day, Captain. I tried. I know you can't be positive with everything, but I can't help myself sometimes. Check on Hank. Don't hate me, Hank. Maybe we'll get along and be friends. That's what I'm hoping for. Or have a mutual respect for each other. This for you, Connor. I understand the destruction of my predecessor may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. I'll do everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh god. I can't move, so oh um Is there a desk 
Anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Aww. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering... Is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah. There is one. Keep asking questions. One killed his partner or something. I can't help it. One more. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. Okay. That's good. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. <laughs> mm, I can't help but ask questions. I just don't want him to get mad at me. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? Oh. I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? All right, now I'll start with you. If you have any files on deviance, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Poor Carl. He wasn't behaving violently at all. Oh, wow. It was a prototype. Interesting. Two hundred and forty three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Mm -hmm. Oh, going to be tough? You shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, uh -oh. Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? I suggest you sort out your personal issues and let me work with someone more competent. Uh oh. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh-oh. Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Uh, I just want to be your friend. <laughs> hmm. Then I get a follow-up. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Waiting for Hank. Hank got a lead. Oh, I got one locked. Oh, is this... Is this with Kara? Yeah. I don't trust the other guy, though. something happened. It's broken. Oh god. Be careful. Put back. I really want to steal it though. Is that him? Ooh. My deer head is freaky. Cyber wildlife. Huh. Android free zone. First Android Zoo opens? Whoa. You can do like prehistoric animals and stuff. That'd be crazy. Polar bears, gorillas, African elephants. You could probably pet them and everything too because they're in control for the most part. Wow, they really made this complicated. It's true. Technology is amazing, but then we just take it for granted and then we start to lose touch of what's real and what's needed. Wow. People won't care so much about extinct animals anymore because we could just make fake ones. That's not good. If I leave Alice, I don't know. I wonder if I'm close. Hopefully she'll be okay on her own. Where's that guy? What was his name? Ralph? Hi! Surprise me. Oh God, keep your gun, don't put it there. Of course, now you can't even see it. Oh my God, he's gonna have the gun. Here. Whoa. Take the gun back. Keep that with you. Oh, so random. 
rainy. Still so gloomy out. Do it. Wow. Wow. It's gonna look good. Oh, wow, very different. Oh. Ooh, it's too black, it's something different, or white. That would kind of stand out though, wouldn't it? That's cool, you can take a look. Or brown. I like brown. I want to see what white looks like. Kind of a cool look too. For brown. I don't know. I think white. White looks cool, but it just stands out too much, I think. Ah, I keep going back and forth. I really don't know what color. I'm gonna go white. Oh, you're gonna take that out. Oh, with a scissor. Oh. Wow. That's so neat that the skin regenerates. That's crazy. That's how Marcus did it then. Oh my god. Yay, I got white hair now. I kind of want a brown, but it's, it's something different. What's in there? Is he hiding in there? so nasty. His head snapped. Oh, his neck is snapped. It's like his throat slit. Ooh. We shouldn't stay here. Oh god, he's gonna be out there. At least I have my gun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh no. Alright. That's all for now. Here to go. Oh no. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. Oh, God, the freaking store. What are you going to do with that? I have no idea. So what do we got here? Most driver saw it at 2.30. Seen at a convenience store. So, what's your conclusion, Sherlock? Oh, God. He's gonna find me. No! Oh, no. Maybe it didn't go far. Great. Oh, God. No, leave her alone! What can she do, though? Oh, God, look at the animals. Oh, no, no. <gasps> oh, God. Ralph found this to feed the little girl. It's good for her. A present. To make up for past misunderstandings. <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. Come. Come and sit down. <laughs> oh, God. Uh. That's very kind of you, Ralph. But we have to go. Go? Uh-oh. <laughs> no, you will go once the little girl is eaten. We will eat together, just like a family. The father, the mother, and the little girl. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> oh god. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. 
wouldn't be polite for her to refuse, would it? <laughs> oh God, oh God. <laughs> Succulent, you'll see. Succulent. Succulent. <laughs> oh my god. Father, mother, little girl. Please, Carl. I don't want to eat that. What did she say? <gasps> she said she can't wait to eat it. Oh god. She's very hungry. The little human is not going to regret it. <laughs> Ralph found the best, the biggest one he could find. <laughs> This is going to be Ew. succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Take the knife. Go ahead. Ew, just like that. No, no, no. I thought I was going to have a moment. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. He still has a knife. I was hoping he'd put it down. We're going to stand up now, and we're going to leave, Ralph. No. Oh, God. No, you're not going to leave. Oh, God. Until Ralph says so. God, this is so bad. <sighs> I saw the body upstairs. You killed that human, didn't you? No. No, he was like that when Ralph found him. Oh, God, I hate this. Oh, I'm sorry. He just wanted to be your friend. Then let us go. Anybody home? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. World's coming together. La la la, I'll leave you alone. <laughs> I didn't go back here yet, so I want to take a look. Oh my god. Ugh. He knows how they got in, so he's pretty sure that they're in here. Camera angle's so hard sometimes. I'm just gonna go around and delay the inevitable. <laughs> Watch me find like an escape route or something and block their way out. Connor is pretty awesome, but I'm kind of rooting for Kara. <laughs> I just don't know what she can do at this point with a little girl like that. Because she can't have a normal life on the run. You're gonna die again. Be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh my god. Extreme heat. Gardener. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. Oh, it's a bunny pig. That's Ralph's blood. Aww. Are there any other androids here? Other androids? No. Aww. Ralph is alone. I'm looking for an AX-400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. Oh, he's actually defending them. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, Wow, his stress. Hi. He's going to 
and totally attack me or something. That's so weird. Like over here, he's gonna get really stressed out. Oh god. I'm gonna kill Connor again by accident. <laughs> Yeah, go in front of you again. Hi! I know I'm gonna have to go upstairs. Connor, what the hell are you doing in there? Coming, Lieutenant! Uh-oh. Uh, okay, let me go to him first. Wee la la la! <laughs> numbers whoa I can't leave oh guy he's gonna get so stressed out he's gonna totally attack me <gasps> I'll leave him alone is anyone upstairs no nobody really hiding them that's good again can't judge a book by its cover Connor what the fuck are you doing did you find something no no it's not here yeah just like I said in the first place Ooh. let's get out of here sorry Connor but Yay! Oh my god. Oh, he's gonna find a trace. Oh, no, no, no. Alright, good. Yay! Maybe they're under the floorboards? <gasps> Where were they? Behind the boxes? And they left him alone? Protect the little girl. The humans must not find her. No. The humans. <laughs> She's human too. Oh. Ari Nai. Oh, he ended up being a good guy. I know he's so unstable, he can't really trust, but he did well. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. Mm. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no longer. Huh. Androids can really go undercover too. They can really be like people. There it is. Across the way. Don't mind me, average person here. Did 
there it is. Kara was over there. Ben says it leaves her with nothing to do, sweetie. But she's so cool. Can't cross the road. The corner of a building. I love how I'm obeying the traffic laws now. <laughs> Where to go? Where did I see that? You hear about that artist? can explore a lot. Oh, there it is. It's up high. Be obvious. <laughs> it's underneath there. Yep. There it is. I thought he might jump it. Yeah. Oh my god. Jump up there. breaks. Wow. 
Impressive. <laughs> So creepy in here. Is there a person? <gasps> oh, is that an android? Yeah. Oh. The music. That's a big one right there. Oh, cool. I did see it from back here. Guy's really hidden. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Ship to freedom? <gasps> uh, whoops. That sucks. Now what? There are a bunch of androids on that ship. Going to Canada, acting human. Hmm. Crazy. Yep, let me right over. How am I gonna get down? <laughs> uh, the chain there. Ah! I just jumped. That's crazy. Okay. Whew. Water resistant. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Creepy. These angles, they freak me out. Something's gonna jump at me.
is that noise? That's nice when you could do that. That's really cool, actually. Because they are people, yes. They really, truly act like people and everything, but they don't need as many resources as humans do. They live a whole lot longer and can go through harsher stuff than humans, so that's pretty cool. God dang it, that scared the crap out of me! <laughs> it's like a zombie movie. Do I follow you? I guess I do. Oh, I got the chills. That sucked. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? I'm gonna follow you. Oh my god. coming. You have to fall through all of that to meet us. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. So I can trust you because... What is your problem? Won't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. <laughs> I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nose and apology program. Guys at Cyberlife thought everything, huh? Here you go.
Pineapple passion, nice. Oh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. I'll leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. <laughs> See? I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant, but I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. Mm. Mm. This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. Hmm. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, <laughs> yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We <laughs> believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. Mm -hmm. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. Mm. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? Oh, he remembers, yeah. A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years and you spend a lot of time in bars. Mm -hmm. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. <laughs> I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. Mm. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Yeah. Kind of warming up to him a little bit, maybe? Hopefully. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. <laughs> well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No, I'm coming. <laughs> hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Mm. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strain... Noise. We're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. <laughs> Shit. Wish I could do that. <laughs> Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Uh -oh. Stay behind me. Got it. Uh -oh. 
Oh. A lot of decision making now. I guess I'll go in this room. This place stinks. Oh. Uh, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Birds. Where you go? Hey, birds. All right, nine. Any idea what it means? RA nine. Written two thousand four hundred and seventy-one times. Okay. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Hmm. What do you see? really good at this. <laughs> it's LED is in the sink. I'm surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. <laughs> Wee, they're ah, everywhere. Jesus, I hate these things. I'm having fun. <laughs> There's so many. Just keep on coming. Let's look at this. A pigeon. I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. <laughs> Electronic books, you can't smell the paper. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. <laughs> Seed. I can't believe it. It's 
nut job was actually feeding these fuckers. It's hard to see the angle though. There you go. God, it's up there. Ah! God damn fucking pigeons! Uh -oh. What are you waiting for? Chase it! I'm gonna get you. We kill Connor again. God. Oh, this is so cool. been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Uh, I saved him, though. He's stressed out. Hey, Connor. Nothing. Thank you. That was a cool chase, though. <laughs> Sometimes it was hard to tell the camera angles on where it was going and what option to take, so I just kept taking the most direct option. That was pretty cool, though. The thrill of the chase is very fun. That was really cool. The music, too, the energy. It's like, oh, I get all pumped up for it. Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. Few succeed. Humans have little pity for our kind. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. 
I came to Jericho looking for hope. Looks like I'm not gonna find any here. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. Wow. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. All right, let's explore a little bit. Do they feel warmth? No, they don't need it, but. Not in very good shape, am I? My diagnostic program isn't working. I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No. I don't want to shut down. Aww. People can be so cruel. I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Oh, just like that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, let's go this way, I'm sorry. <laughs> threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. I didn't know they had children androids. of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. What was your function before coming here? What do you care? Mm. 
Well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? <laughs> it's not that simple. Can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. Anyway, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Marcus is gonna do something. Save everybody. Are you Lucy? No. Oh. Wow. Sit down. Show me. I'll stop the bleeding. Drink this. It makes sense, you just have to drink it. Okay. Give me your hand. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. So weird. Good or bad? Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyber Life Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Mm. Maybe it's worth a try. Okay. I'm in. Oh, boy. I know they need it, but scary. Marcus hatched a plan. Ooh. 
cool looking house. Good for Halloween. Mm. It's always raining. I'm impatient. <laughs> Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Come in. Hopefully a nice guy, a good guy. Come on in. Don't be shy. It's a big place. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. He's a big guy. <laughs> Please, make yourselves at home. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Yeah. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, uh. and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Ah, so I was right. Yes, that's, that's exactly what we want. Of course. I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. Ooh, how do you do that? I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Oh my god, how do you do that? It's gonna be something horrible, right? The LED was too easy. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. It was probably Oops. gross looking. Right this way. Everything we need is in the basement. Oh god. Let's look at this first. Books. I'm scared. Come on, Alice. Hold my hand. That's so cute. I love them together. I don't like this place. And that man. Let's go. I have a bad feeling. Oh god, really? It'll be okay, Alice. He's going to remove my tracker, and then we can start over again in Canada. You want that too, right? Oh God, I'm so scared. Please excuse the mess. I needed somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. Come on, Alice. Oh, God. This way, oh. please. Oh, God, maybe she's right.
If you could just stand over there. This is trustworthy. I hope he's gonna be a good guy. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. Ooh. Oh my god. You know what's strange? Uh oh. For some uh -oh. unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. Oh, God. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. Oh, I knew you said that. Yeah. People believe what they want. Oh, great. You Deviants are so naive. Oh, my God. They'll come to me expecting me to help them. Can I just reset them, <gasps> sell them on? Or I keep them for my little experiments. No, no, I don't want to be reset, let me go. Ah! Oh, oh no. I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up, I'll deal with it later. Alice! Oh Alice, no. no. She was right. Wow. I'm totally resetting this one. That wants to be a mother. That's that's so sweet. I'm so deluded. Oh my god. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. <gasps> oh my god. No, I don't like this one. Oh my god. This is horrible. How do I get out of this? what you get for having a dream. You suck. I don't like you. It up the same way. Tears and <sighs> dissolution. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Me. You're better off being erased and feeling nothing. Uh, come on. No more pain. How do I stop this? No Hope's dashed. Can I do anything? I almost am you. Kara! <laughs> Oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks oh, like Mommy's so completely bad. forgotten you. Carl, what <laughs> happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. No. <laughs> what a jerk. Leave her alone. Bit me. I'm going to teach you some manners. You oh, no. Meet me in the living room. Meet me in the living room? This is horrible! Oh, this is horrible. How do I do that? So I do.
Oh, good. Thank God. Do I have my gun still on me? <laughs> what was Alice? Don't come after me. Oof. No. This can't be happening. Ooh. Come on. Rebel. He wants to play with us. Ew. Creating monsters. For his amusement. Ew. But who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. God. Leave it open. It'll help me. I'm hoping. Oh my god. Oh, this is so scary and messed up. Serial killer with androids. Luther! Yes, Lockle. Should be done here in ten minutes or so. Have a look at the little one too, right? Understood, Slack. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. Oh god. I'm so nervous. Can I talk to you? Alice. <gasps> oh my god, okay, he's in here. <gasps> what are you doing here? Has the master authorized you to be here? You must always obey the master. Oh yes, you must always obey. You should not be here. You have no business here. No, you have no business here. If you have no orders, you should go on standby. Oh yes. Oh my you god. Yes. <gasps> okay. Don't pay attention to me. I'm out here. Alice, where are you? Oh god, there she is.
Luther. Oh my God. Yes, Zaku. I'm finished here. Go fetch the little one. Right away, Zaku. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Seek for you. <gasps> oh no! Catch the Luther. Oh my God! Oh, I'm panicking. Where am I gonna go? <gasps> oh God! Oh God! Oh God! And in tears. No. You should have listened to me. No. <gasps> what are you doing? Get out of my way. No. Oh. Not this time. I said, get out of my way, or I'll shoot right through you. Oh my How God. Dare you. Oh my God. Yes. Holy oh crap! Get away from me! Get oh away my god! Yes! I'm get him! Master. I'm your master! Oh my god, he's a psychopath. Get him. Yes! 
Oh god. I thought she was done. Thank you. That'd be my friend. Let's go. I didn't want to hurt you. Oh. He programmed me to obey him. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. Oh. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. Yeah. I could protect you. You and the little one. Oh. All right. Yay! Cool! I trust you. Did just save us, so thank you for that. Wow! Oh, we could be a family. Oh! That was huge! Holy crap! Oh my God! I am going to end this here just because I've been playing for a long time, but this game is so good. I just want to keep playing. I told myself from the beginning that I wasn't going to restart any chapters because I want to play it all the way through, no matter what mistakes I make or who gets killed. But Kara is actually one of my favorites now, and I really didn't want her to go, and I thought she was done in this one. And I knew I should have trusted Alice, but I know a lot of things aren't straightforward. So some hints that they give you that seem like the right choice aren't always the right choice. So I thought there that maybe Alice was being just a little nervous because she's a child and it was a scary place, but it was very straightforward. It was a creepy haunted house looking mansion and <laughs> it was very scary looking and the cages downstairs, I should have known, but I just was like, oh, well, someone has to be good. It'll be fine. But holy crap so we know there's a lot of crazy humans out there and more and more we see how these androids are like people they're they're like humans and they fear death they don't feel like nerve wise as far as i can tell or nothing has hinted to that but they do feel emotion greatly like people do or humans do they are people i love Kara and alice's relationship there it's so emotionally well done just so good and I'm happy they survived. <laughs> Again, I was so scared that Kara was going to get blown away. And I'm so happy she survived. And now she has her friend. That's so cool. I hope they can stay together and work as a team. And now I have hope. I had an idea at one point during this gameplay that with Canada being an android-free zone, I thought if Kara can take that piece out of her head, the LED, and Marcus did the same thing, and they can appear human, I don't know if they can get scanned in certain locations or not, but yeah, I kind of assumed that maybe androids go there undetected and can live like humans. So that would be awesome if they can do that. I hope they can. Wow, this game is so good. I'm glad Connor didn't die in this episode. I didn't kill him again a third time. I was laughing at his gravestone, so it was kind of funny, but it's kind of interesting that they had plaques there for him or they had gravestones for him that was kind of interesting just to keep track I guess I don't know and that place that I was in before where when he came back to life I guess that's your rebirth place and O'Connor seems like a very of course a very important android he's one of the top-notch ones first detective android detective and I really like his character too, but I want to say I still have such a soft spot for Marcus because he is a very compassionate android. He is such a good person. I like where his character is going right now. I love where Kara is going as well. I think they're all just so amazing, but wow, I just want to play more. Anywho, I will have to end it here. I only play solo when I can't get the family together to react to other stuff. I do have a lot of fun doing this, but the only time I make time to actually play games is through our YouTube channel and it's a lot of fun. Oh my god, what a great game, and I know there's several outcomes to everything, so I totally want to play again once I'm done, but I'm going to try to follow through this whole storyline and see where it goes. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon as always. Bye!